All right, the boys are getting ready because we've made a stop for today's adventure, which is to head over beyond those trees. Because believe it or not, there is a ravine, gorge, what would you call it? Pit? <laughs> That's quite spectacular. And then there's an adit down in the forest just there in the distance. Just a small one, but we'll, uh, we'll go check that one out as well. Now as we're going through this clear cut, the reason they didn't go past this row of trees is because that's bordering the cliff. And they don't want to lose their uh, equipment down there because it would be a sheer drop to their death. Alright, it's hard to photograph this from above, but uh, the ravine just cuts straight down from the, uh, the level plateau of all this clear cutting that's out here in the forest. And you'd never know it was here, it was just surrounded by trees in the middle of nowhere. Alright, we're just scrabbling down this, uh, the end of it here to get into the ravine. Piece of the car frame. Yeah, there's, there's some other auto parts over here too. Start our own auto supply store. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Looks very Jurassic Parky right there. Let's say, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a truck frame. And it's cut up. They probably just heaved it off the cliff from up there. Yeah, well, that's a gas tank. Yeah, there's a rung here, bolted to the rock. That's interesting. It's uh, it's like it's bonded to it. All right, now we're on our way to the Slack Brook at it. And it's not too far from the, uh, the gorgy pit there, but uh, it does take some bushwhacking here through the, uh, the clear cut field. All right, here we are on Slack Brook at the brook level. And we just have to head down a little bit of more hiking and we'll be right at the, uh, right at the portal. All right, here we are. And it's not always too obvious. Took us a second to find it here, but if you come up, it does have a collapse or a mound in front of it, but uh, it has an opening there. All right, we got out a light here just to give you a, a better look because unfortunately the, the light is getting low today, but there's peeking inside. You basically just have to scrabble down this uh, little incline from the hump here. And then once you're in there, it's, uh, it's wide open at it. All right, here we are inside. There's the portal going to outside. You can see the forest out there. Basically, once you're in here, the attic goes down there. There's lots of this uh, pudding-like sludge again in the water, but we've got our rubber boots, so we're gonna just hump it and see what happens. Yeah, there's the rocks under the water. Finally, we have something to walk on. This, uh, this rail actually looks like a railroad size rail. Would you agree? Because there's the ore cart track size. This one's huge. Much, much bigger gauge than uh, we normally see. And there's the ore cart track, the ore cart track start.
Alright. Yeah, it's about a foot and foot, foot and a half deep, depending on where you're at. But the, uh, the tracks continue. This just keeps on going a little more than seems to be 100 feet, but we'll see what happens here. We're actually coming up out of the water, so this may be the end. There's that, uh, there's that rail again. And we are up out of the, uh, the water now, finally. It's amazing all this is under here from that little hole. Buried for eternity. Yeah, this looks to be the beginnings of the end, folks. All right, we're coming up on uh, what appears to be the end, but might not. Under further examination, this might just be a cave-in of what continued. Because the, uh, if you look down there, the uh, the ore cart tracks continue straight into the pile. He's going to have a look, folks, and see if there might be something else that we're not seeing. It appears to be a cave-in right over the, uh, the tracks, but it also looks like it's kind of an official end to the way the rocks are cut. Are you seeing stuff up in there? Uh, this end kind of stoked up a little bit. Oh, well, there's like a stope? Just a tiny, like five feet. Oh, okay. With some big, big rocks. <clears throat> Here's looking back. right there. All right, this is how you get out. You gotta squeeze through the little human hole and push and just keep scrambling your way up there. Not much choice. So here I am trying to get out. It's a struggle. I'm being birthed my mother earth. All right. All right, so that's it for Slackbrook. We've made it out of the forest, back to the clear cut. Now it's just a hike back to the vehicle and we're gone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>